So let's talk about a few options for massage that don't involve working with a professional. So one thing you might consider, and uh, this might it is almost so simple that maybe you haven't even thought of it, is what about partnering up with someone? Uh, whether it be your significant other, or a family member, or maybe your best friend, maybe you can trade shoulder massages, take turns working on each other's necks, give each other foot massages, that kind of thing. That can be really awesome. Um, now, if you do have some fairly serious health issues, it might be worth, uh, I would say it would be worth going to a professional to at least get started and maybe ask them if there's anything that you need to avoid massage as far as your condition um, for the most part massage is pretty safe there is is safe there are conditions that that could be maybe exacerbated by massage sometimes massage is not a good idea or sometimes certain areas maybe just need to be avoided but for most people i would say massage is pretty safe so you're probably not going to hurt your mom by giving her a shoulder massage or something like that now, beyond working with someone else, there's also tools that you can use for yourself. So I, myself, am a big fan of massage tools. In, I think these are great even if you're working with a professional because you may have some little aches and pains crop up between massages, even if you're getting regular massage. So I think it's good to be able to help yourself. So I'm, I have a lot of tools. Uh, we're not going to go through all my tools today because I have a lot of massage tools, but I'm going to show you some of my favorites. And these are tools that I use on myself to release tension. So, this is the first one. If you can see it here, it's a big hook. Um, and I will have to look up the name and maybe put it in the notes below in the show notes because I don't remember the name right off the top of my head. But there's, there's a lot of these out there that are, are either this exactly or really similar. And what you do is these are handles. So you put your hands on these and then you just sort of, it, it's a great way to be able to, and I'm sorry, I'm kind of having to look at myself to do this. It's a great way to be able to work on your upper, upper traps. Um, and you can also work some kind of mid back and sometimes low back if you're careful with it. Um, the one thing that I, I don't, I love this tool. I use it all the time. The one thing that I would caution you about is that I think it's easy to go a little, if you don't know what you're doing, it's easy to go a little too deep on yourself with this. So this is a tool that, that if you're not careful with, you probably could hurt yourself with, um, but it's also, like I say, one of my favorite tools, honestly. And then there's one that's really great for working, especially neck stuff, but it's also good for upper traps too. This is called the Accusager. It's got this little string that you can pull on. Basically, what you do is you put it at your neck, and these little, these little, they're like little rubbery golf ball kind of things. They, you just kind of bring these together like you would, um, it's, it's like a, uh, those uh, nutcrackers, that's the word I'm looking for. It's like those old-fashioned nutcrackers. Um, but you can kind of work your neck. It's, it is that same kind of sensation as somebody coming up behind you and sort of giving you a little neck massage. So it's really good for that. And these balls are adjustable. They have different holes. I don't know if you can see those very well, but they have different holes so this can move out or in um, to, to kind of fit your neck. Um, it can also be used, that's what this little string is for, it can also be used um, to work your traps. If you grab this string, you can kind of get, you know, get into your upper shoulders too. So that's another great thing that you can do with this tool. Again, this is called an accusager. And then um, there is my, here's my foot log. So this is something that I put on the floor and roll my feet over. You can see it's got little knobs on it. It's, um, this, these are kind of squishy but firm at the same time. They're, they're kind of rubber things and you just roll your feet over it. I also have um, a wooden one. I couldn't find it right before doing the video, but I also have a wooden one that I like to use for my feet. 
so those are really great. And then another one of my favorites, this is called the Porcupine Ball. And one of the things I love about this is that it's one of the most versatile massage tools. There's so many things you can do with it. So one of the things that I'll do sometimes is I will just put it on the floor and put it right at the base of my skull, right at the top of my neck, and just lie down on it and just kind of let everything just decompress a little bit. And uh, this can be great for neck stuff. Um, it can also be good for working on your back. You can do it on the couch or you can literally go up to a wall and, and kind of put it between your, your body and the wall and work on it. Or you can even put it on the floor. Um, I've used this, I mean, you could use this on your feet. You could use this, you know, to roll for your, your forearms. You can use this for your shoulders. A lot of times I'll put it on the couch and just kind of work, you know, the inside, like right between my spine and my shoulder blade. I'll work that area. As I said, it's great for neck stuff. Um, I used to use this a lot for my glutes. I would actually put it on the floor and kind of roll my butt over it. It's great for that. However, I have popped, I think, two or three of these now, literally broken them <laughs> from doing that. So I would say you probably want something a little sturdier for that. But this is a great little massage tool that you can use. And it's, it's just so, it's so easy. This is called a porcupine ball. And it's really easy, easy to use on yourself. Uh, we're not, this isn't really a massage tutorial, so I'm not gonna get too deep into that stuff, but there are some really great massage tools out there. So really, you should be getting massage all the time. Uh, with a pro is ideal. If you can't do it with a pro, do it with a friend or a family member, or get some tools and do it for yourself or even, you know, learn how to massage your, your own body with your neck, you know, learn how to work on your neck with your hands, that kind of thing. Um, I'm sure you can find some videos out there. I know there's some books on massage, so I, I may even put some out at some time, but, um, but yeah, there's, there's a lot of different options for taking care of yourself. So you should be, I, I encourage you, I want to say, I don't want to, I don't want to should on you, but I encourage you to, do massage, get massage, make sure that you're benefiting from this because again, it's feeding into that mind body loop. When you relax the mind, it helps relax the body. And when you relax the body, it helps relax the mind. Enjoy.